So I'm <clears throat> playing a TVZ here. He's got 3,000 games, platinum level player. Rank 34. He's played some gold and a lot of platinum. He's played one, two, three, four, five, five seasons of platinum. So he's a long time platinum player. Um, yeah. Let's run it. Let's open the game. It's on Star Station against Blue Dwarf. I'm doing Bomber's Build modified with a couple minor tweaks because certain things that they do, Day 9 suggested, don't make sense, but they're pretty minor. The main thing I don't do is build two Hellions, swapping out the barracks, building two Hellions, and swapping the barracks back out. I just go right into Marine Tank. I don't need two Hellions. I don't use them for map control. I'd rather send out a Marine. So, scouting. Going for barracks, refinery, excuse me, barracks, orbital refinery, or barracks refinery orbital, then second command center. Um, it just lines up better. I can do a CC first, but I like the build the way it is, and it gives me protection against a roach push. So, okay. Oh, the other thing I like about this is getting the barracks before the CC is I get that infusion of the minerals here. Look at my minerals right now. Pretty high with my with my orbital. So, seconds going down. Get another supply depot. Get another bunker. I'm supply block for like a split second, which is fine. And then, and that was a mistake, I, I withdrew him by accident. And since I was supply blocked for a split second, I'm going to want another supply depot, get my marines going to the bunker, get my second orbital. And he is getting spines for defense. Ling speeds on the way. So I immediately get my tech lab and then I get my second orbital. Tech lab, second orbital. That's really important. Build another supply depot one at a time, building out my wall. Get my second gas. Um, so, my second is on the way, I mean, my third's on the way, I've got my double eBay's, I'm producing out of that, I've got my wall here, and he's got some lings at this tower, he's got his third, he's got some roaches for defense, I'm not going for any kind of massive attack build, I'm just going to build up, build up, build up, so, stop dro dropping mules, 10 on this one, 11 on that, so I've got a good saturation. Here's my two more barracks. Okay, once again, those are really late. These are really, 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 really late. Really, really late. <laughs> I need to fix that. That's a mistake. Um, I have plenty of minerals, so it's just a mistake. So I'm sending out a marine, kind of a couple marines in and around, see what's going on. Um, continuing to build, I build a couple turrets, build a couple turrets, I've got the minerals. Um, I should be building marines too though, so there we go. Tech lab, uh, reactor. Move out, take my third at the ten at the eleven minute mark, which I think is late again, but whatever. Bunker. 
nine minute mark so two minutes late on that working on that um, I've got four tanks so I feel pretty confident let's pause here and look at the army value I'm ahead let's look at the units eight roaches yeah I could pretty much stop eight roaches easy with this so I should feel pretty confident in that regard he's taking his fourth I would be able to stop this for a long time so I really should feel more comfortable with this I should take that earlier good to note Complete. Um, Upgrade. so okay I'm late very very late on my armory that was a mistake in this game meaning my plus two plus two can't start so second factory two more barracks starport and I need my armories you know halfway but that's not good enough it should have been done much earlier which is gonna delay my push but again I'm working on it now I'm gonna build a bunch of supply depots make a supply depot wall I need to build a bunch of them so it's no big deal and I'm gonna bring over units so I'm gonna have six here three here I think I moved too many but whatever so now move some tanks out get a reactor get a tech lab additional supply depots required supply depots are coming in the production tab I've got six marines, two marauders uh, stim, combat shield, get another reactor, get another tech lab. Um, I think, yeah, 10 on this one, 8 on this one, so that's a bad saturation, 19 on that one, I could have done better on that. But in the income tab, I'm doing pretty well. I get one more barracks, I keep forgetting that that last group it's three barracks a factory and a starport not two but no big deal um... so supply depots are finishing up no they're not they're already done two more supply depots another supply depot drop a supply call down so now it's fourteen forty five and i'm at one forty two supply So. In the unit tab, he's got 28 roaches, 14 hydras, and his creep spread is kind of decent. He's got four bases, and at this point, my plus two is, plus two is kind of halfway done. I should have been pushing out about now at 140 supply, so again, my push is a little late. I'm still working on fixing that. I think the main thing is I need to be making more marines out of my barracks. But I decide I'm always going to try to push out at around the five minute mark because A, I need to start killing the keep pushing the creep sped back and B, if I push out any later, he's going to get to a new tech point, new tech path. So it's important for me to push out and I'll keep reinforcing to get up to the 200 supply when I move out. So get the marauders out there, build some turrets. Build more supply depots. Ready for dust off. This better be good. Ready for dust off. I'm gonna pause right real quick. See what vision he has. He has no idea. He's done no scouting. He has no idea if I have a third. He has no idea what's going on. Okay. So I move out. Field depleted. Once I see creep, start sieging up my tanks. Meaning, I want all my units separate. I don't want them all together. I don't want them all clumped up. So, start sieging my tanks, and move in, li this is a new part of it, it's a, an old strategy, but it's a new part of it. Just move in little groupings of units. So, first thing, throw down some scans. Upgrade complete. And kill any creep tumors. Complete. 
Additional supply depots required. Additional supply depots required. Pull back. See a lot of units up there. Pull back. Siege up my tanks. A lot of blinding clouds. But. He's got plus two, plus two units. I have plus two, plus two units. Move my tanks up. I just have a lot of marine marauder. And, yep, he's getting my tanks. But I got a lot of medevacs too. And tanks are doing some good damage. And I make he's making 33 roaches. I'm making 9 marines, 3 marauders, 2 tanks at a time. And I'm at 150 supply right now. So pretty good. And here's more stuff reinforcing. So in the unit tab, he's about to have 35 roaches. But I currently have 27 Marines and 19 Marauders and 6 Medivacs. So I have a lot of units and I'm continuing to produce. Take out the third. Kill those roaches. There's some more roaches coming in piecemeal. Attacking piecemeal with these roaches is a terrible idea because I've got basically stimmed units with medevac support and those roaches are going to be horrible against my stimmed units with medevac support I'm now at 150 to supply his 80 supply I've killed 10 workers in the worker tab we're roughly even but I have mules Push in past those evolution chambers, which I don't need. I'm trying not to overstim. Something I'm trying to get better at. And I've got this huge wave of units coming across the map. Huge wave of units coming across the map. Uh, four marines, three marauders at a time. Now, granted, he I killed two bases and I'm going for his third. Now his main, his uh, third and his fourth are still working. So these units got stimmed twice in the process. So I need to not do that. I need to uh, not stim my units across the map. Just select and grab and stim it. Kind of a rookie mistake. But it's 170 supply to 50. And I'm producing 9 Marines and 3 Marauders. I found I like Marauders more, uh, a more even distribution of Marine Marauder, uh, like 24 and 30, because. Um, Against Baneling Muta, where you need a lot of Marines, I need the I need the Marauders in front to tank the Baneling hits. And against Ultra, which is what I mostly see, Marines are really, really bad. So this is just the best composition right now, based on what I'm facing. Um, blindly. But it wasn't blind this game. And then I just kind of clean up pretty quickly. Tons of units screaming in, grouping up, siege up my tanks, spin in. And I'm, max I'm maxed out. I got a nice little maxed out army coming. At this point, I just send marines to every single base on the map. I just send a couple marines everywhere. I just want to see what's what. I want to fight everything off and kill everything as quick as possible. So. I see a base there, I see a base there, I assume there's a base up there. So go in and take that base out, and go up top, and he says that's absur fucking absurd, and that's GG. Um, 
Unit lost. He lost 26,000 to my 8,000. And let's look at the main battle. I just want to look at the main battle losses. So here's the push out. We'll look at it from his perspective since we haven't already. So, no one's lost anything at this point. That's why he waited. That's why he delayed. He didn't have his guys blinding clouded yet. So units lost. Okay, cost efficiency. I lost 4,600, 4, he lost 83. So he lost a ton more, and yes, he has a bank, and yes, he just produced, he's producing another 33 um, roaches, but those are really nothing. Those are weight, those are nothing compared to what I have. He needs ultras, he needs more vipers to, you know, do blinding clouds or to do, um, abducts on tanks, you know, he just is not going to be able to remax no matter what he has, and he doesn't have the gas anyway, with what he's going to need to fight off what I have, which is a constant push of, you know, nine marines, let's see, I can produce now four marauders and eight marines, and I could probably add a lot more production, but right now I'm just produce, produce, producing, and tanks, by the way. And how and um, um and medevaxed. Okay. Um. GG Tracker it, since this is the first good game in a while that I've gotten to play um, with this build. So... All right. Um, oh, look at that. Cool. Like it's new features. I talked to uh, the guy who made GG Tracker about adding in some new fe features, and it looks like they've done it. Um, I like it. I like new features. Okay. So overview my spending skill, master level. So it says average unspent minerals none. Um, ooh, time supply capped, I forget. But anyway, um, so, uh, let's see here. Worker's active. He's ahead, but resources collected were roughly even. Gas, pretty even to the very end game, which I don't even need that much gas anyway. Um, Resources lost in combat. I was just incredibly more efficient, cost effective. Um, resources gathered, workers active, bases. So I got my third base pretty uh, eight minute mark, it looks like. At 7.38. He got his at eight. So it's pretty good. Then he gets more, but I don't. I'm building production facilities, so um, he starts at this point building his. At the 12 minute mark, he starts building his hydras, and the vipers come out right around the 16 minute mark. So if I push, by the way, at the 14 minute mark, look what he'll have: nothing. He'll have roach hydra. I'll have marine water tank. I'll do much better. So 
the goal is to be pushing at the four minute mark because those extra three minutes gets him to the next uh, tech. Still working on that. Here's the engagement. Um, you know, he lo swiftly loses everything and rebuilds a bit. I lose a fair amount, but I can just keep building and it's not going to stop. Um, economy, base timings, second base complete, five and three, 11 and eight. So I didn't get it mined until the 11 minute mark. So that's the difference. I need that mining at the 8 minute mark. Saturation speed. 16 workers are mining. Six forty. Hmm. Hmm. So it looks like it only took me two minutes to saturate my bases, which I guess makes sense. Um. Looks like pretty good injects. I mean, not injects, um, orbital usage. His injects were pretty good till the very end when the battle started and his injects really faltered. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. When the first engagement took place, When the first engagement took place, I had six tanks, six medevac, 62 marines, 32 marauders. They were plus two, plus two. You had 14 uh, hydras, four queens, which mostly weren't being used, 36 roaches, and seven vipers. No lings, no bames. Hmm. Interesting. So those blinding clouds were okay, but um, once that one round of blinding clouds goes down, my units will start to, you know, jig and jagger, move around them. But at the same time, I'll also be able to regroup and rebuild pretty quickly. And I've killed all those um, vipers immediately. They're like the first thing that died right there. They all died. So once that happens, he's in bad shape. Okay.